Hey guys, it's another Primark haul. <laughs> Um, hi guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I do plus size fashion, beauty, makeup, stuff like that. Um, and if you're one of my subscribers, I thank you again for coming to one of my videos. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Please comment, please like, please subscribe if you haven't yet. And yeah, let's get into the video. Uh, so I just want to say a quick thank you for all the love on my last haul, um, it did so well. Uh, so I did have to wait a little bit because obviously I have to wait for like, new stock to come into Primark. Um, but I went into um, Tottenham Court Road Primark because um, I've moved back to London. Um, so there, there's lots of different stuff there obviously because it's such a big store. Um, I will say, severely lacking again in the bigger sizes. I don't really know what's going on. Everything I liked, it seemed they didn't have my size in. So luckily I had my friends there to like help me out. Um, but I think I got some nice pieces. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Uh, so I will say that I am a plus size being, I'm like a 22, 24, 26, I just vary all over depending on where I'm buying from and I will say that Primark don't have like a dedicated plus size section um, but I really like doing these videos because I do think there are items there that bigger women and men or whoever people can wear and um, so I do these videos just for people that are maybe just slightly uh, beyond size 20 just to show that there are things um, in in store so while they don't have an actual plus size section i try and buy like plus size savvy um yeah to see what i can find and see if anything fits so i hope this video is helpful um so i spent 122 pounds on like 14 things i will say i feel like their prices have gone up like i have bought more kind of like statement type pieces rather than the more basics i bought last time i think last time i bought a lot of like bodies and t-shirts this time I've got a lot of like dresses and stuff. So let's get into it. Oh, and also, does anyone else's bags like completely like this one? Completely rips at the handles. That was fab. Um, and then, <laughs> oh, and this one literally just started like a busting open at the seams. Um, so, you know, it's when they ask, oh, do you want to spend a pound on one of our big plastic bags? You're like, uh, no. Um, I want one that's free and then this happens so great <laughs> but i made it i made it home just about oh uh so first up is oh, so they had this in uh mint green which is super similar to one of my favorite dresses that i bought from neon rose it's like that one that's like off the shoulder like buttons on the front and this is super super similar but they also did it in this pink so my friend picked up the green because i was like well i do already have um that one and I think with dresses from Primark, it's always a risk. I'm not 100% if this is gonna fit me. I really hope it does, because I think it's super, super pretty. Um, it's like, I think it's what you call a cheesecloth. It's a little cheesecloth dress with a little ruffle at the bottom here, and little side ties. And they are, it is real. It is a little real side tie. Um, and I just think it's really pretty. Uh, this was £15, and the girl at the till even was like, wow, that's really cute. Um, I think, like, looking in my little, like, screen view, I think it looks, it's a really pretty colour on me. So I really hope it does fit. Uh, fingers crossed for me, guys. Say a little prayer. Um, I got this in a size 20, because uh, they only go up to, they only go up to, like, 20 in their kind of, like, like fancier clothes uh, so here is this like peachy uh midi dress and i really think it's nice on um i will say it's a little bit tight getting over the boobies um as this has no stretch in it and it's not on i guess a more plus size body um as loose as it would be maybe on a size 20 um but i did get it over just fine um i think the neckline is really flattering um i think the length is really nice there is enough material that it's still uh loose and the little side tie details i think are a really interesting style feature i haven't seen this um on anything else this season i think the color is really pretty again it's something you could pair with uh, makeup really nicely something that i have a lot of um and yeah i will say it's probably a little bit see-through um I, that is kind of usual on like cheesecloth type materials um it, obviously i think if you were maybe buying from somewhere maybe like asos or 
<laughs> anyway that's just a little bit more um expensive there might be a slip that would come with it um but obviously not with this as it was only 15 pounds uh, but yeah and it's not it's not tight elastic at all on this on the arm so it's not gonna cut all your circulation off and um, so yeah i think this might be a keep they did also do it in that beautiful sage green color that i'm obsessed with i'm trying to buy it less um so i went with the peach i'm very tempted to get the green as well but I need to be good, I need to stay strong. Uh, but yeah, really, really pleased. I think it's really, really pretty. And let me give you a little spin. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> then I got this really pretty baby blue periwinkle-y, I think it's a wrap. Wraps scare me because I can bust out so easily of them. It's free tier. Um, might be a little tight on the sleeve, maybe there is no elastic in the sleeve but i just thought it was so nice i really do hope this fits because i think it's so cute um i think a little less hopeful in this one than the pink one just because there's like a bit of like elastic and stuff um but yeah we'll have to see with this one as well uh, again got this in size 20 and this was 15 pounds guys so here is this uh little blue polka dot wrap dress and it was so close to being a win. Um, so from your guys' perspective, you probably think, Becky, what on earth is the matter? And it's the sleeves, guys. They are so tight. Um, I even like rolled them up to like the crook of my elbow and they hurt, to be honest. Um, I will say I did just get the button done up. There is no like a little elastic bit like I've got on other things, but it still did do up fine. There is no elastic at all on this dress. Um, and it did wrap over like nicely. Um, I think it looks a bit maternal, if anyone gets what I mean. Like it looks a bit like I've had a baby or I'm gonna have a baby. I think it's the color that gives me kind of like pregnancy, like maternity ward vibes. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, let me just show you, yeah, look at the sleeve guys. Literally my arm feels like it's gonna drop off. Um, it's a shame because this would have been Oh, I have a car. This would have been really cute if you've got slightly smaller arms. I mean, I do have little chunky arms. Um, then you might be able to get away with it. But uh, I think this one's going to have to go back for me because it's just uncomfortable to wear. Then I got some more of these wireless bras. Guys, these are so comfortable. Oh, just hit myself in the face with with the hanger um i will not be showing these on um obviously because they are underwear um and you know this is a free channel <laughs> so these are super super comfortable they're 10 pound for three of them absolute bargain um and i already bought a pack of three and i just wanted some more and i just thought these colors were like really nice like it's like a mint green and uh, like a baby pink and like a slate gray um yeah and they fit really comfortably i'm like around a 22 24 like UK size on the bust and um, I'd say they fit perfectly uh, reasonably for an extra large. I'd say maybe if you're a bit bigger on the bust in terms of like cup size, maybe they, because they are quite uh, narrow, I guess here. Um, but for me, I'm a 44 uh, C, so uh, 44 C slash D. So these are perfect for me. Then I got a um, Madagascan vanilla, vanilla and patchouli uh, reed diffuser because my flat caught on fire yesterday uh if you would like a story time on that let me know down below it was a pretty crazy day um it was absolutely insane so obviously didn't completely burn down um <laughs> but there is a smell in the air so i got two of these because i'm hoping to put like one over there one over there try and like get it from all angles i didn't want because i'm i'm traveling for the next month so i didn't want to get anything that was like really expensive i just want something just to leave out while i'm gone to hopefully help with a bit of the smell uh, but i will say this looks really fancy like it looks really nice packaging and these are only three pounds each and i got two of them um but yeah i smell them in store it's smell really nice i love uh, the smell of vanilla so uh yeah well, that's this and then up next is this uh, jumper. So I love Primark jumpers. I think they're so comfortable. Um, and this says, uh, go with the flow. I got this in a 2XL. I will say this looked a bit like not as orange. <laughs> this is like a lot more orange than I, I feel like I might look a bit like a pumpkin. Um, 
we'll see this was uh five pounds and i got this in 2xl that's the 22 to 24 um that's what we like so i just thought it was really cute with a cute little saying and it's just so comfy and i think this will also be really nice in autumn because it's that kind of like pumpkin spice latte color but yeah i just thought it was really cute <laughs> uh so here is this jumper um i'm a little bit on the fence about the color i love primark sweat sweatshirt sweat jumpers whatever you want to call them they're super soft super comfy and they're a fiver um but i swear in the shop it looked like more muted and i feel like a jack-o-lantern <laughs> i feel like a little cute pumpkin um and i don't know if, <laughs> i don't know if that's the aesthetic i'm really going for uh but i do think the saying is really cute go with the flow Maybe that's what I need to do with this jumper and go with the flow of being a pumpkin. Um, again, like in a 2XL, you do have quite a bit of room still around the tumsome area. These aren't like really long though. They are like, they do cut at my tummy. I wish there was just like a little bit more um, length, but I'm not that worried about it. Um, it's just the color on this one. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think I look like a little pumpkin? I don't know. <laughs> So then we have a skirt. I don't usually buy skirts from Primark, um, but it seems, oh, I don't know, gosh, this might have been a mistake. It seems really stretchy, but also it looks really small. Um, this doesn't look like a 20. I did, it was a bit of like a mad dash, because as we were with friends, you know, when you're with your friends, it's sometimes a little bit hard, isn't it, to, um, to get a good look at, oh. um okay so this isn't a this isn't a 20 and it's this um leopard print skirt and it's like green with like camel um spots and it's like crinkly i think i'm gonna really struggle to even get this over my booty um but we will see um i think this would look really cute with like a white t-shirt black t-shirt um just really casual with some trainers um, and this was 13 pounds or maybe it's meant to be a dress it can't be a dress no no i think it's a skirt i don't think this is gonna fit let's find out <laughs> okay guys here is this leopard print skirt i'm actually shocked that i got it on um i just literally paired it with something super randomly out my drawer <laughs> so it probably doesn't go very well um but i just don't know if i love it um I think the colours might not look great. Um, it, ha it has, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I don't know what I think about it. Um, I think it's it's kind of hanging on around here a little bit more than I'd like it to. And I don't know if the colour's very good for me, but obviously I'm pairing it with this white top, so it'd probably look better with black. Um, but it did, it was a bit of a struggle getting over the boot. Um, but it wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder to get on, to be honest, but once it hit my waist, it was fine. I'm just not feeling it. I think that's the case. Here's a close-up of the print. As you can see, it's that kind of like crinkly material. Do, do, do. Um, I think on a deeper skin tone, I think this, this color scheme would look absolutely stunning. Um, I just don't think it's for me. I think I'm just not feeling any of it, so it probably will go back. Um, but it did fit. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, I did get over me. I'm like a 24, 26 after quarantine um, on the bottom. So, um, if you're around that size, I think you'll be fine. Um, I do go in, I do kind of go in quite a bit at the waist, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it fit me fine. So, yeah. I don't know if any of that was helpful at all. I feel like I just completely wobbled the entire time. <laughs> Sorry. So then we've got a little lingerie, lingerie, lingerie nightwear set thing. And I got this. I love this like white and navy together. Um, oh God, that's tough. <laughs> Bloody hell, I needed to do more stretch testing. Um, so this feels, there's, there's, there's like no give up here. Um, but they are adjustable straps, but the material is really soft and stretchy. So I think that might be okay. Nice little V neckline. I just thought it was really pretty, really cute. 
this I got in an extra large, which is an 18 to 20, but it is stretchy, so I'm hoping. And this was eight pounds, which I think is reasonable uh, for a little nighty. I just thought it was really cute. And it's got like a little like pineapples and stuff. It's like, yeah, I like it. And then I also got to go with it, the uh, dressing gown. To be honest, if the nightly looks rubbish, I'll probably take the dressing gown back as well. Um, I just wanted a little something to throw on at my boyfriend's place because I don't have something like this. Um, and I am flying over there, so it needs to be quite lightweight because Ryan only like you 20, 20 kilos. 20 kilos is nothing. Um, so um, I'll see how this looks on together. Um, hope it is stretchy as well. So again, this was in an extra large and this was 10 pounds. So 18 pounds for the whole set um, in exactly the same print. I don't know if there is pockets. I'll have to find out in the try on because it's a bit of a mess right now. Uh, so here is this little uh, nightwear set and it's super, super comfy guys. Um, it goes, I think it goes. Well, it would do if I tied everything up. It would go all the way over my body, which us plus size women know. Finding fucking bathrobes. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. It's just aggros. Um, finding bathrobes that will go over the tum tum is hard. <laughs> um, and I can't believe I found one in Primark. Oh my God, guys, it has pockets as well. Oh my God, this is the best. <laughs> this is the best little lightweight summer robe ever. Um, I'm tempted to go get one for here and for my boyfriends because it's so nice uh this was just 10 pound this robe um and this was an extra large and uh, not even a 2xl i don't think they did it in 2xl um but i like how the sleeves are like three quarters um i just feel really comfy and i just feel really like feminine in it i love prints like this for nightwear just a personal preference um and it's just real feels really cool really comfy um but sure enough, it really allows to say, but like, oh yeah, I do really, really like this and I'm really pleased I picked it up. Last thing in the big bag um, is this really pretty, I love this, I love this colour. It's like a sage green moment again. And oh God, I'm just, I want everything. I want to pair everything with shorts. Anything that's, everything just goes with shorts. Um, so yeah, I thought this would look really cute with shorts. Um, so it's a little button down top with a little, front tie here um again i think this is a super risk i'm not sure if this is going to fit me obviously because it is a tie i might be able to adjust it to make it a little bit bigger around around the waist um obviously i'm a little bit smaller on top but i'm still not a 20. Ooh, ooh, we'll see guys and this was a little spendy as well this was 13 pounds and i got this in a size 20. um so all we can do is all we can do is try guys um yeah so let's see so guys i'm actually really pleasantly uh surprised like the shirt actually fits and it isn't too gapy it isn't too gapy is it i don't know or maybe now i'm kind of realizing how gapy it is oh no <laughs> um but it does but i got it on um and i think it, it looks really nice i think it hits really nicely it kind of gives me a really nice hourglass shape um this is my biggest annoyance and i don't know how to fix it i feel like it's just an issue across the board with all women's clothes no matter plus size or straight size that this happens even if you don't have big boobs like girls if you're bigger breasted i'm so sorry like this is this is horrible this is awful this happens to me and i don't even have a big chest so i really feel for those girls out there with bigger boobs because it must be really hard um i don't know i don't know if i want to like pin it like it would be fine if it would just like sit still <laughs> I'm so i think it's so cute i don't know what to do it's gonna have i'm gonna have to look back at this what i do all the time i look back at the footage and be like how do i really feel about it but i just think it's really nice i just think it's really nice and i really like it i don't know oh guys i'm really torn <laughs> Oh, just doing a little close-up well of the gape no um of like the print so like it's that like like not lacy like oh, i don't know what it's called sorry guys um but there it is don't look at the gate but yeah oh it's my tummy <laughs> um yeah i think it's really cute then a couple of little bits that i got that were in my other bag i just got a little shaving cream because like i said i am traveling and i didn't want to take the massive one that i've got it's like Enormous. Really, like, why is cars so loud nowadays? Everyone should be getting electric. It would be a lot quieter on the road. Uh, this is a pound. 
don't really know what else to say. Lovely. Um, and then also I got this brush cleaning sponge. I've had one of these literally for like years and it was disgusting, but it does such a good job. Um, it's one of these like, you use them for like hair donut material um, and it just works wonders. You just wipe your brush in like the little symbol tells you and it will literally take the, the shadow off your brush it's so good so convenient and you can wash them like and you should wash them um uh, but for two pounds i think you can buy them for like a pound online but two pounds you get it now bargain then i got this like tunic shirt thing i just i don't know if it's a bit mumsy but i also just really liked it it just looks really comfy and airy and cool i feel like i can wear it in leggings because sometimes guys i just want to wear like a cute oversized shirt dress thing and some leggings because leggings are damn comfortable um it's a little tie sleeve which i thought was a really nice detail rather than a button um i just thought it seemed really like beachy and cool um it's not got a collar it's buttons all the way down and it is quite long um and how much was this this was 13 pounds as well in a size 20. I do think for how much like material you're getting, I think that's a really good deal um, when you compare it to that little green shirt. Uh, but yeah, I think this should be okay size wise, but we shall see. Uh, so guys, here is this striped shirt and it is really, really comfortable on. It feels like really airy and just like really chill. Um, I think it would actually look really cute like tied up as well, anyone else? get that right but then you will have kind of like a little bit of like an apron at the back i don't know how to sort that out um but it's really like comfy i would wear this with leggings on just like a really like chill day like you know when you want to like look put together but you also can't be bothered um so i think this would be perfect not sure how this is going to wash i will add and also i just want to add as well it has got i don't know if you can see has got quite like a high slit um so with leggings you, you will be totally fine but obviously it could, i don't think you could wear this as a dress my pants are here um so it wouldn't be a dress on me it would be a tunic slash shirt um but i think it's really nice and it's no gapage no gapage on this one um yeah kind of feeling this one yeah let me give you a little close-up this is a stripe, very nice. These little tie sleeves, very nice. Yeah. And then last thing, guys, um, I got this little Primark, little Primark, oh, it's all Primark, girl, like. <laughs> it's an off-the-shoulder bardo top, and I just loved the yellow, I just thought the colour was super summery, super pretty. The sleeves are really, really big. Um, the top, you know, it's quite oversized. Uh, this was £11, though, which I thought was quite a bit of a Primark. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Um, and I got this in a size 20 as well. Um, I tried to get as, as I feel like I really can't try with an 18. Um, so if, if it's an 8, I just don't bother. Especially now I can't try it on and I've got to bring it all back. I just, it has to be a 20 or I'm just not going to bother. Uh, so, yeah, I thought this would look really cute with, you guessed it, shorts. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> or like black jeans, black long, long shorts. What are we on about? Like jean, yeah, shorts. Oh, what? <laughs> and then finally, we've got this little yellow um, off the shoulder top. Now, I don't know if it's just me, guys, but does anyone else's off-the-shoulder tops from Primark always do this? Like, they never stay down. Like, they always end up like this. Just a cute look, but it's not what I bought into. Um, I just don't know if the elastic they're using is just, like, really tight. And then it's such a fiasco to, like, pull it back down. You've got to, like... Oh. Um, but I think... <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. I think for £11, pounds, because I've been like talking for like hours, um, I think for £11 pounds, it's kind of a lot for Primark. Anyone else feel, anyone else feel that? I don't know. I, 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 don't know. I think it was like eight. Oh, this is an £8. Pound. This is an £8 pound Primark top they're charging at £11 for. I'll just, I've said it here. 
Um, I think the, t the colour is stunning. Sorry guys, got cut off because um, I literally ran out of memory on my phone. Oh my gosh. Um, but anyway, as I said, I think the colour is absolutely stunning. Like I think it's like an empowering, happy colour. But the neckline is aggravating. It's an annoying. So it's, anno it's, it's annoying because the colour is amazing. But the like, I'm just going to be pulling it down all day. Like these little things, these little things that will make you not wear it again. You'll wear it once and be like, fuck that. Fuck that. This is annoying. <laughs> this is annoying. <laughs> it's annoying me right now. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye out for colour, for like tops this colour because like I said, it's just, it, the, it's the colour of happiness. Like, it's beautiful. It's just this neckline is not, um, <clears throat> it's, <laughs> but here's a little spin. Okay guys, I hope you found this helpful. There was definitely some definite wins. Um, there's some in the middle bits. This is probably the middle bit. I think it's going back. I really don't want it to go back because I love the colour. Let's go back <laughs> anyway. Um, so I hope you find this helpful. Um, I always find it super helpful watching other plus size um, women do Primark hauls because obviously no plus size range, but we can make things work. Like even though this didn't work out because of the neckline, I still get into it like easily. Um, so never think you can't shop in Primark. I think this would even go to someone that's probably like a 24, 26 even. So don't be afraid, don't, you know, you can take stuff back. Um, unfortunately, you can't try and install them, which is which is a big bummer. Um, but I'd say fifty percent of that stuff, uh, over fifty percent, fit me. And it's all it all fit me. Whether it looked nice is another story. Anyway, I'm going on a different path. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to stop talking now, um, and I hope you're all staying safe. Well, please like, please subscribe, please comment, and I'll catch you later. Bye. <laughs>